Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, today in this particular video, I'm going to discuss about this topic that is karma life cycle. Okay. I'm going to tell you a very amazing story that has happened in my life. So this will definitely motivate you. It will motivate you to become a better person. Okay. Please make sure that you watch this video till the end. So guys, if you don't know, I started my IT career at 2011 and the first company that I actually joined was HCL. And, uh, you know, in HCL, I was properly trained on .NET and then Later on, I was put up into uh, support projects. I was also put up into bench. Now, because of that, you know, my learning was not exponentially increasing. I'm not blaming HCL guys. Understand there were also very good projects in HCL, which I did not get it, but I was put in into some other project. Okay. Because of that, I was not able to learn that much. I was not able to understand the entire life cycle of the projects, probably the entire architecture of the projects and all because uh, the work was pretty much like a maintenance and support work. Okay. Now, after that, uh, you know, I made a switch. I, I went and jumped into other companies itself. Okay. Now, when I went to the uh, the other company over there, initially for, and I was put directly into a project and initially I was like learning a lot, you know, and that time, you know, I was, when I was actually put up into a project, it was very difficult for me to cope all the things, you know, because there were so many things that we need to do and uh, they were my colleagues my peers was pretty much awesome in coding and all they were able to complete the task very much quickly and i was delaying in every every task in short you know in everyday meetings i used to say that okay i i have delayed in this i've delayed in this and all okay so every sprint my my stories used to get moved to the next sprint because of the delay and all and uh, usually when you are around one year one and a half years experience i think this problem will not be considered uh, because if you are a fresher it'll, it may be considered but as a one year one and a half years experience it will not be considered now at that point of time one of my senior you know uh, when he gave my feedback he told that Chris you are not fit for IT jobs you know uh, you're not fit for IT jobs so that 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 feedback that I got you know was really disheartening because there I was actually trying to spend more than one and a half hour for the work so I mean I was trying to spend so many number of hours like um, more than nine hours i was to sit for 12 12 hours to finish off my work but again because of the learning process uh, and all i was not able to complete the work that quickly you know so this went on like this for two months you know and after two months i started uh coping those kind of work i became better and better and started completing my work in time but that was the feedback that a uh, senior actually gave me saying that chris you're not fit for it jobs uh so it was disheartening obviously but i took that as a feedback you know and i kept on going and started learning and i did very good in the upcoming projects and probably in just a year i got promotion and then everything went on well i started working in data science and many more things now after that what happened uh, recently just a month or two months back that same senior contacted me saying that krish can you teach me data science and uh, you know and can you refer me also for some jobs uh, probably for an architect role and all now this was the proudest moment for me okay uh, saying that a person who actually told me you're not fit for it company now he's also asking the help and he's telling you teach me you know so that's that's an amazing moment but understand guys apart from this the most important point that i really want to make is that this karma life cycle okay i know guys sometimes you know you you feel that you are very good at something okay and when you see a person who is not able to cope up with that specific work, try to motivate him, you know, you should not demotivate him and you should not talk about negative words that you basically talk like how these things happen. You know, that will obviously the, the, the motivation level of that particular person will go down. Right now, probably you want the help of data science. Now, probably he's coming and asking me. That is well and fine. I, I took it as a normal thing. I spoke with him very nicely. I told him definitely I'll do that. You know, why did I say him? Because I know this karma is completely a life cycle, guys. One day, if you feel that you are the greatest, you know, and you will not be respecting anyone around you. Trust me, one or the other day, you will come to that position where you will feel that you have made that specific mistake. You know every person over here around us you know they will be having some special skills guys with respect to some or the other thing please do not consider them that you are greater than them just through knowledge or just by the work that they are actually doing tomorrow they can become better you know and that is what we should actually always do we should try to motivate them to become better this is the main reason why i'm making this particular video 
you may be any intelligent that may be you you know everything how to do guys but just understand always try to be a good person okay don't have that proudness in you that no you are the greatest nobody is greater than you and all so don't have that particular feeling instead try to help others try to make comfortable for others you know so that they will also be able to grow you know this is the most important thing that i really want to tell you all guys so i always tell you try to help many as many people as others uh, and if they are probably facing any problems try to motivate them try to find out why why that particular issue may be coming and try to give a proper feedback probably if you work in this specific thing then only you will be able to become better right this kind of feedback when you give you know definitely the person will also get motivated he will know that how he has to work and this is for entire seniors who are working please whoever are working under you try to motivate them try to give them the right guidance and right knowledge otherwise karma one day will again come back to you if you feel so much proud of yourself so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye